I know I'm not Galactic God, but hope you guys will forgive me. Uh, me and Galactic God are doing a video swap for you guys on fun decks, and I really wanted to show off a version of an old deck of mine. Um, this deck is called Project Archfiend. It was an old concept deck that we had on my channel. Um, I got to play this deck once at Locals, and we wrecked them with it. Um, it kind of stinks that Tour Guide just got the axe for the new format. That's okay, because the deck can still work. So, the whole point behind Project Archfiend was to summon Mazara Deville, which, when you have Pandemonium on the board, you can tribute Warrior of Zera to bring out Mazara Deville from your hand, and he lets you discard three cards from your opponent's hand at random. The unique ruling on this card is if your opponent has less than those three cards, they just lose them all. So, he's a really, really dumb card, and we wanted to find a way to abuse him. So, here we go on the deck profile. Um, Triple Archfiend Soldier. It's an Archfiend, it's 1900, and it's a giant Rescue Rabbit target. And three Warrior of Zera, once again, Rescue Rabbit target. Um, Triple Warrior of Zera um, kind of gives you access to the entire toolbox of the deck, and it's a level 4 warrior earth which will you know kind of come into play later so um double mazara deville not three three's terrible it's so bad um double mist archfiend it's a 2400 that nukes itself at the end of the turn but with pandemonium it lets you recruit four more guys um for the field spell we're playing the three generals which lets you discard it, search for Pandemonium. So in theory, you're playing five field spells, which is a good number, no need for terraforming. And it's another Archfiend that, you know, gains effects from Pandemonium. <sighs> I hate Shadow Knight so much. That's why we, you know, sigh when we see it. Um, unfortunately, it takes a cost to play it. You're gonna have to bring a dice because, you know, this card does some dumb things. Um, the, uh, the dice, like, if you roll a dice when it's targeted, if you roll a 3, negate and destroy the opponent's card, it's got a 1 in 6 chance of it not nuking itself. And it's a 2,000 under Pandemonium that lets you search for, you know, more of your Archfiends that are lower. So, it was good in theory. Um, it's a good one of. I know a lot of people might not want to play this just because of the way the deck's designed. But, you know, hey, if you roll that 3 when he's being targeted, you know, free pluses. And it kind of stinks that, you know, all battle damage that he inflicts to your opponent's half, but it's 2,000 beater, so can't really complain. Um, we're also playing Double Rabbit. Hmm, these normal monsters. Alright, here's my sad face of the deck. Uh, two tour guides, two Dark Bishop. Um, it's a tour guide target, it comes off of guide. Um, the really cool play about guide, you can go guide into bishop, into invoker. Invoker brings up warrior, and if you have field spell, Mazara Deville. So cool. So, um, you have four tour guide targets in the deck. It's versatile, and it flows with the theme. Um... We're also playing Double Effect Veiler for the hand traps. Pretty needed, I'm not going to lie about that. Alright, on to the spells. Allure, Heavy Storm, Dark Hole, Monster Reborn, 2 Pot of Duality, the 3 Mystical Space Typhoon, um, 2 Pandemonium. I know a lot of people are like, why are you even doing this whole thing? Um, Pandemonium. Neither player has to pay life points during the standby phase for the upkeep of Archfiends. Each time an Archfiend monster is destroyed and sent to the graveyard except by battle, that player can add one Archfiend monster from their deck to the hand. That is a lower level than the destroyed card. So, hmm, Archfiend guy dies, search for this guy. Uh, Mr. Archfiend dies, search for any of your level 4s. Especially Archfiend general. So, pretty, pretty cool toolbox. So, Pandemonium, really cool card, and especially the boss monster that, you know, wakes behind the door. Um, on to traps, we're playing Double Bottomless, Double Torrential, Dimensional Prison, and the last of the Solemn Brigades. So sad. On to the extra deck. Playing the one Cataster, the one Utopia, one Gandiva, one Black Ship of Corn, one Excalibur, one Diamond Direwolf, Maestroke, Dweller, Cowboy, um, one Nightmare. Uh, Nightmare is actually really, really unique. Um, Nightmare lets you combine your two Archfiend soldiers together. Um, he kind of loses his attack, but 1950 that, you know, interrupts opponent's card effects seems pretty good. Uh, one Acid Golem, Leviathan, Levier, Invoker, and Zen Mains brings us to a close on the Tour Guide engine. And then, um, for those of you that want to go, like, more in-depth, um, if you guys can find room for Emerald and the Volvo Chain, I know Nightmare is not legal yet in the States, but, you know, you can also opt to cut that for, you know, something that you feel might be more appropriate. There's plenty of good cards that you can think of. It's just these two I haven't got in yet, and they're there in case you feel that you need them.
Especially the Volvo chain stacking from Mazara Deville. So good. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Um, Mazara Deville, one of my personal favorite decks. I really, really, really like this deck. Um, if you guys enjoyed this deck profile, come on over to my channel. Um, subscribe. The new format is just unveiling. We have a lot of good decks that we're going to dig up from the archives. We're going to show them, and I do a lot of coverage on deck profiles of events. I know a lot of people don't like the way that I present them because I don't really explain anything, but unfortunately, I feel if you're a good enough player that you should understand the way that mermails and windups work, and there shouldn't be any need to explain those things. So, just my two cents on this. So, like I guess I hope you guys enjoyed Project Archfiend. It's a very, very, very fun deck, especially Mazara Deville, two at a time off of a rabbit. So good. So guys, remember to like, comment. And come on over to my channel and subscribe. And I hope you guys uh, appreciate my time being over here. Um, I really wanted to do this deck profile, show it off for the new light. And I hope some of you guys will, you know, take heed to this and uh, play it. Alright guys, well, me and my avatar, Terror the Terrible, are out. I will talk to you guys all later on. Probably eventually. As long as you guys want to see me over here again. Later guys.